Hello YouTube and welcome back to my playthrough of Apollo Justice the Ace Attorney Trilogy. So we're gonna get to the bottom of basically what happened in that park. Let's continue from where we left off. We had a really crazy um, uh, end there where we found out the truth about the, the, the witness. But um, let's continue here now. June 16, 2.23 p.m. Right of anything agency. What a train wreck that was. I'm glad we made it out of that trial alive. Really, I had fun. And Walkie made it through the day, too. Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. But it was good publicity. Imagine the crowd at my show tonight. You should come, Polly. Yeah. The amazing Mr. Hat will be making an appearance. Hi, folks. I'll be here all week. That's about enough of him. Hello? Ah, Miss uh, Tiala. Thank you for today. The trial went well. All right, uh, no problem. You think Walkie will be okay? Well, he's not guilty yet. Please, you have to help him. We're supposed to get married next month. Oh, congratulations. Gah. Uh, way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Marriage. Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? I'm fine with it, and I love Waki with all my heart. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. So it doesn't bother you that you'll be, um... Married to the mob? I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. Say, where did you and Waki first meet anyway? Oh, good question. Miss Tiela doesn't look like a type to have, like, gangster connections. Oh, we met at my old job, actually. Ah, uh, office romance? She's not very forthcoming of information about herself, is she? Did you know that the boss, uh, is trying to get out of the business? R really Mr. Kitaki wants to quit being a gangster? He's trying to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently out of the blue. So yeah, that's the thing is, a lot of these mafias and gangs, they have like, l legitimate businesses that they run, that they use basically to hide their, or you know, as fronts to basically hide their illegal cash. And when you really think about it, these gangsters can buy legitimate businesses and they can stop committing crimes and just live off of those instead, but they don't want to. It's like a disease. They're just obsessed with just that illegal crime money constantly. I hear there's quite a lot of confusion in the ranks. Hmm, wonder if this explains that apron. I can't imagine Waki going along with that. Eh, <laughs> he's highly motivated, isn't he? Um, that's not the word I would have used. He said I'll be the next big boss and keep the family, um, alive. I think he's at that age when boys want to make a mark on the world. That's not the way I would have put it. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on profits. The Kitaki uh, family's, um, been making a killing recently. Again, not the way I would have put it. But Waki says it's not about the money. They have the gangster tradition to uphold. Tradition? A generation gap. They've even got the ever-classic what about the family business thing going. Usually it's the father worried about tradition. Can I ask you a question about Waki? I understand he was operated on by the victim, Dr. Maractus. Apparently yes. I was in this clinic about half a year ago. <coughs> Excuse me. He messed up, um, uh, my OP something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. So I gotta go in, get another doc to patch me up again. Yes, it sounded horrible. Waki has always been fond of fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not sure it qualifies, um, uh, when, uh, as fighting when pistols are involved. Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? No, no, that can't be right. I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. It's scary to think that a surgeon might make a mistake. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. I'd like to know a little bit more about this operation. Maybe it's time to pay the Maractus Clinic a visit. I should be getting home now. Walkie's in your hands, Mr. Justice. R right. L -l -l Leave it to me. Apollo, I think you're only making her more nervous. Sorry, I'm new at this, okay? Hehe, <laughs> it's alright. I believe in you. Let's go to the, um, the Aldoon's, it's gonna be at Aldoon's house, right? 
Nothing has changed there. The front entrance to Maractus Clinic. The walls and posts are so highly polished I can see my face in them. Wait, my hairdo is a little flat. There, perfect. Guess we can't go in then. Um. Hmm. Uh. Am I gonna go? But yes, we go to the clinic. Uh. Not the clinic, then I guess the detention center. Hmm. Looks like Walkie's out for questioning. I really need to talk to him. I guess we'll come back later. Excuse me. Yes? The other suspect is all through with questioning, sir. The other, uh, you mean the panty snatcher. Wesley Stickler, so they arrested him, too. Alright, let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler. I hope I don't regret this. He is a valuable witness. He is a bit precious, I'll give him that. Please, keep this brief. Uh, you would. I'm quite busy. I need to finish this paper. Yeah, look, it's you! Mr. Stickler, we'd like to have a few words with you. Very well. As long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. Panty Snatcher. Mr. Stickler, on the night of murder, you stole- Wait, I can't help but feel that I'm being misunderstood. How exactly? Yes, that night, I obtained a pair of panties, it's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it. Nothing more. You wanted to know the trick to my panties, right? Yeah, this is getting a bit creepy. Um, y you're here too? Oh great, Trucy, teach me. Eh? I must know the secret of your panties. My very existence hangs, hangs in the balance. Please, make me your apprentice. Apollo, help? I don't know. I think he'd make a great, lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo. What you witnessed. Could you relate what you saw the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony he gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night of this, I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol or something like that at the victim. That's when I shouted, stop, you two. Let's resolve this like gentlemen. And the next moment, a shot was fired. And this is all true, really. My panties are gone, my innermost heart revealed. What further reason could I possibly have to lie? I can't think of anything he'd want to hide more than panty snatching, true. It sounds like Walkie was at the scene of the crime after all. How I wish it weren't so. Can I present him with anything? Fine, ignore my evidence, see if I care. Uh... I can I ask him about the knife? No, and also too. The, the, that's it, the mystery, the unanswerable riddle. Actually, they're just a normal pair of panties. W w what? How's that possible? It just takes practice, that's all. Then you must teach me, you must. To think if I could produce a pencil, an eraser, a text, a book, and a lunch. All from a pair of panties. My life would be complete. He's serious, isn't he? Okay, and I guess the map is the only thing I could show him left. Okay, no.
if everything that Panty Snatcher said was true, it doesn't put Walkie in a very good position, does it? He was at the scene of the crime, that's pretty clear. There's gotta be a different angle on this. Well, let's get investigating. No time like the present. So, any leads? Hmm. One moment. Shazam! Alakazam! Whoa, evidence keeps flying out of nowhere. Ta-da! That's all neat, huh? Yeah, real neat. <sighs> okay, no one's here. Uh... Yikes, she's back. Hey, you two, over here. Uh, uh, us? Yo, Little Plum, what's up? I think all this gangsteries is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrieved my bloomers. W well, I was just doing... Ma, a man speaks clearly and takes credit where it's due. You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh, yes, sorry, I caught him. You're cute when you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. But enough about the bloomers. What about my son, Walkie? Walkie, er, well, he's, um, clearly... Y y yes ma'am. This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. Walkie. He's really everything you'd expect in a boss's son. I'm going to be a gangster, dude. The life does have an appeal for that age. Particularly for boys. What? Don't look at me like that. He was shot in the turf war about half a year ago. Yes, we heard the story from Walkie. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's hard, but he couldn't shoot someone to save his life. I should know. I'm his mom. Her words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully when this is all taken care of, he and the boss can sort out their differences. The boss, you mean Walkie's father. They didn't seem to be on the best terms, did they? It's true. One of our pistols is missing. So the murder weapon was from this mansion. We kind of think you're given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days. None of the rank and file have access. Only the boss, myself, and Waki could have taken it. I see. I'm sure the cops will continue traveling all over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign that it's time for a change. <laughs> Doesn't seem too concerned, at least. Alita Tiala. Yeah, Waki's fiance. You're getting married next month, correct? I suppose she's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that, little plum. How'd you, um, guess? Even I could tell that. Could you tell us more about her? Waki brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie uh, the knot. I can see why, she's so pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough, but, you know. Nah, it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in the business too long. And you start to only see darkness in people. You get a nose for it. A nose for people. A nose for trouble. Hmm. Wonder what the problem is. It's like a gangster's only version of female intuition. So she doesn't trust her, her daughter-in-law. Wonder if she has anything to do with this case. Father and son. The boss may act tough. But that boy, um, means the world to him. I wonder if Tiala worked at the clinic. I wonder if she did because she said she met Waki at her old job. Maybe when Waki came in when he got shot, he met her. Maybe she was a nurse. Maybe that- maybe that's where she worked. The boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. But Waki seems, well, it seems like he's against his father's position. Ah, uh, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. Trying to cut our ties to the shadier side of the street and do more on the up and up. Waki isn't too enthusiastic about the change, it's true. But why the change? Is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? <laughs> it pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Hmm, something must be up. He'll see things the way uh, the boss sees him someday. I wonder if I can present her with... Um, about these. Hey, my bloomers. Thanks for that. I owe you one. Um, I thought you might like them back, so... 
Er, oh, no, 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 no. Why don't you keep them as a souvenir? Oh, no, I couldn't really. Thanks for the offer, but uh, I could use those in my magic panties act. I'll pull shivs and pieces and godfathers out of them. Great, now your props are get going from bland to dangerous. Ask her about the gun. Well, this pistol belongs to the Kadaki family, is that correct? It's one of the pieces we keep around. That is, we used to keep around. They're all gone now. Oh. Police came yesterday and took everything. Everything but my broom. Don't you think you should have given them that too? You kidding? Can't clean up very well without a broom. Sorry kid, I got no idea. Oh, but I could ask her about that. Um, Waki's knife? Can you tell me if this knife belongs to Waki? Oh, that's his knife, all right. Bought it for him for his birthday. Wow, that's a pretty hardcore present. I remember him falling asleep with it clutched in his arms. Oh, I know the feeling. I'll bet he was just as happy as I was with my plastic spaghetti. No, it doesn't look like there's any, really anything else I can, um... Eldoon's house, okay. Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon. Oh, it's Mr. El Mr. Eldoon. Hmm. What's wrong? So, you found my stand. That's why I'm here to thank you. Ah. But now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have it back. That's also why I'm here. I got no other place to go. And the one thing I find weird about the Ace Attorney games is how you're able to, like, take evidence from a trial and just walk around with it when law enforcement will be holding on to that, not the lawyer. Ah, I see. How can a noodle stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, a uh, true doll. Even in death, he's after my neck, I tell you. Ah. Can't even cook an honest noodle. E? Even in death. You mean the victim, Dr. Maractus? I tell ya. It's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Remind me never to eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. The noodle stand. That stand, for generations, it served up the very best noodles us Eldoons could make. A tradition of noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand. It's history, I tell you. Watch what you say, or it might be become true. That's a great story, Mr. Eldoon. Single stand, passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right, you said something about that. About you rebelling against your pops, was it? Good memory, Trucy doll. Aye, I was a go-getter um, back in my day. Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stand to earn my fortune. Mr. Aldoon, I don't mean to pry... But what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Bah! Let old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left me nothing but noodles. And now I don't even have that. Mr. Aldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Maractus Clinic? Eh? Eh? I couldn't help but sense enmi enmity there. Enmity. I hate him. Er, hate, hate it, him. Acting like he smells like roses when he's rolling in mud. Excuse me? He's the only doctor at that clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, eh? I'll tell you, um, uh, the secret to his success, the mob. You mean, the Kataki family. They're always having one of them turf wars or whatnot. Always an injury or two that needs fixing. Maractus saw a chance for some business. So he started giving the Kataki family a good deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free. He stole the idea from my pops. One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to say. And a doctor just decided to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But it's got him in good with the family. Pretty soon he was getting all the business in town. Leaving me, uh, here in the dark. Up to my neck in soupy noodles. I think I figured out Mr. Aldoon's former occupation. Can't hurt to ask Apollo, so he was a former doctor? Eldoon's past. Mr. Eldoon, or should I say Dr. Eldoon? Figured out, did ya? That's right, I was a doctor, a surgeon, until the year before last. 
So, Mr. Maractus was your rival? You like those onions they put in the soup broth? Um, yeah, kind of. You take a spoon, you drink some broth, those onions will find their way in there. For people who like them, why that's just fine. For people who hate them... I hate onions. Hate them. Always sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of good taste and spoonful. Well, that's what he was. An onion. Onion boy. That's what I called him. So, you weren't exactly friends. Ha! Me and Palmaractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's face. No matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come following along. Then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past, um, without so much as a, as a howdy. I see. So, we have... So, he's now a suspect at this point. He has a motive. That's right. I was a surgeon long before he was, you know. Then that no good onion boy comes along. Well, Trucy, looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. Wow, just what I said. Don't say that! Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for, for a ladle. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's rambling. No, it's fine. By the way of apology, you ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by, huh? You're investigating Maractus, aren't you? Yes? Well, you want to know about a doctor, you ask a doctor, that's all I'm saying. You just think of me if you need something, Trucy doll. Right, thanks, Mr. Eldoon. Hmm, I guess the time spent listening to him complain wasn't entirely wasted. Uh, wait, maybe I can show him the autopsy reports. Maybe he'll know anything about that. Uh, uh no. Well, we've got to go check out this clinic, that's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. That's the same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off-limits. It's not involved. But, but... What part of off-limits do you not understand? Show me proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park. Or beat it. No harm in asking. No gain either. No point sticking around here, I guess. Um, I was hoping to meet with my client. Walkie Kataki just finished questioning. I'll bring him out. Great, finally. Yo, sup, my little imposter? Hey, what? What did you call me? Zam, it's you, sorry, G. Thought you were, a uh, Alita. My little imposter sure is a strange nickname. It's a clink, a dang. You wouldn't understand. Well, clink is slang for jail. Did I say imposter? I meant po poster, like a poster girl. I. If you're going to drop part of that, why not drop poster and just call her girl? Cause she's so much more than that, G. She's like, she's like an angel, a fallen angel. Yeah, and I'm starting to think that uh, she might have something to do with this now. So what can I do uh, you for? You don't look so chipper today, Walkie. Worried about your um heart condition, maybe. That was the wackiest thing of all. All us G li G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that. Better to die young than fade away, Bizoy. Relief to hear. Hey, wh what's what's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. But man, I ain't trying to hear that. A man fights to protect what's valuable to him, you know what I'm saying? I miss my fallen angel. Hey, you go, go get a, a Lita for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer's not a gopher. Your fiancé. So, I hear you're to be married next month. Straight up, we poured the Nupital 40 out on the stoop. Lita, oh, Snapple Cakes. She's so fine. I think he's smitten with her in, in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Hiala, but she was very vague. Huh? Well, man, if she wouldn't tell you... 
I best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past, she knows that. When I'm with Alita, I feel like there's things worth protecting out there, you feel me? And my Alita, she's down with, uh, with that all the way. Hmm. I think he met her at the clinic. Hmm. So both of them are mum about their past. Do you think you could tell us what happened with, with you and pal Maractus? There's something you should know. We Kitakis are having what you might call a feud with the R Rivales family. So about six months back, I got going to Rivales turf packing a knife, right? And? You were shot? Coldest thing I ever seen. One shot to the heart, my homies weren't too late. It's a miracle that I lived. It's already con uh, considered one of the seven wonders of the Kataki family, you know that? So you were taken to the Maractus Clinic then. You should have seen uh, their faces when they wheeled me in. You can't just let the boss's son die, you know? I hate to have been in that doctor's shoes. Mr. Kataki's scary enough when he's not angry. But the bullet that hit you, it was never removed. And it's still threatening his life. That doctor, he did it on purpose. Ravellis paid him off, I'm sure of it. I need to hear more about the night of the murder. Uh, that much is clear. So, here's the thing is, the doctor might have actually kept the bullet in his body to save him. Uh, because in certain situations, if somebody gets shot, then sometimes the doctors might not remove the bullet. Sometimes a bullet might stay in a person's body for the rest of their life because a doctor might determine it's too dangerous to remove the bullet because it might do too much damage to the body during surgery and might actually cause death. So if the bullet is right near his heart or in front of his heart, you know, that's a really crazy place for a bullet to be, but that would also be very dangerous doing any kind of surgery. Life in the family is a G thing. It's about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm not up on my G things. I'm not even sure what a G thing is. But my old man, he's gone soft. He says the old rival gang days are over. He just wants to make money. Isn't that a good thing? Man, there ain't no soul in making money. Better to live fast and die young, Bosigil. Die, ugh. Our client is an idiot. Wait till I run the yard, then everyone will know what time it is. That's right, OG time all the time. Represent... Hala, why does he keep talking about old guys? I don't think that's what OG means, Trucy. Okay. Present. About these weapons. The pistol and the knife. They belong to the family. I snuck them out that night. So the killer, Mr. Stickler, um, uh, says he saw that night was... I guess it was me. I was there after all. Ah, we're finished. Um, yo, walkie. Do you think you could tell us exactly what happened that night? Ugh, you don't beat around the bush, do you? I like your style, Shorty. Yeah, whatever. He seems preoccupied, I'm not sure he even looked at my evidence. About these weapons, uh... Okay. Same exact thing again here, uh... Night of the Crime. Maybe he can finally tell us what actually happened. Um, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. That is, uh... Did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. Hey? The day of that checkup, when I found out about the bullet by my heart, I borrowed a gun from the family stash. Figured I'd give that doctor a taste of his own bad medicine. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. But you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that, yeah, well, never can be too careful, I say. I'm on my way to the clinic, right? When I run into him in the park, and he's dragging this noodle stand behind him. Wait, you didn't put him up to that? Like you know in the movies? If you value your life, you'll bring the stand. Short, um, Shorty, you're more whack than I am, and that's uh, saying something. But I was serious. The thing is, I don't remember what happened next all too well. You don't remember? But the way I see it, if there wasn't anyone else there that night, 
then I guess it probably was me who did him in. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, he doesn't remember everything. I think the doctor killed himself. That's what I think happened because the where he was shot from the right temple, like here, I think that I think that he uh, I think he shot himself because if he was looking the other way from Stickler, that's probably what I think happened. I think he just put a gun to his head and shot himself. But why? Uh. Because the doctor would probably be wearing gloves. That's probably why there's no prints on it. But, but wait, but Waki admits that he picked up the gun, right? Fingerprints were white. So how did that happen? And and it says that there was two rounds were fired. Two rounds. That's what's so strange about this. Uh. Kentucky Mansion. Look at that crowd over by the park. Probably people trying to get a glimpse of that crime scene. But why are those girls screaming? I think I just heard one say, Oh my god, it's him. Wait, that motorcycle. Ah, if it isn't her forehead. Prosecutor Gavin. Some fans found me on my way out. Just my luck. Oh my god, oh my god, he's so cool. That's the screams. New album just came out, you know. Try waving to them. They love it. Oh, oh. He's so cute. Haha. <laughs> They're so excited. It doesn't matter who waves to them, see? This is surreal. Um, so you were here investigating. And I was on my way home when my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog means his bike. My motorcycle will start a clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. It looks like such a nice bike, too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Ah, it's my fault. I think I was using the wrong oil. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Ah, uh, machines. Tell me you share my angst, her forehead. I rice uh, bicycle, actually. Uh -huh. In any event, I'm off to the shop to get her fixed. The detective in charge of this scene isn't fond of me in any case. The detective? You mean the one in the lab coat? Yeah, she's in a foul mood to be gentle. Off we weeder, um, uh, Wiedersehen, uh, ba baby. Uh, does that, that mean goodbye, I think? Oh my god, oh my god, there he goes. And the forecast for the park today, gloomy skies. Well, nothing to do but head on in. Let's hit the park, Apollo. Yeah, so, you guys actually told me in the comments section that Clavier is the nicest prosecutor in the entire series, and it does actually seem like it, because a lot of the prosecutors are just that you encounter in the Ace Attorney are massive scumbags. June 16th, People Park. Ah, uh, does something about this scene look different to you? Um... Well, the underwear is gone, um, uh, but the knife is... The knife is there. Yeah, the, the knife is... The blue tarps are gone. Oh, right, that's it. Yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. The white frock detective from yesterday. He seems to be apologizing reverently to the trash can. He's under a lot of stress. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey, you there. If you're going to talk about someone behind their back, do it more quietly, please. Oh, Detective Sky, hello. You seem as gloomy as ever. This is mis miserable. Miserable! I just got a new kit, and I can't get the stuff to work. And everyone's all smiles for that, uh, glimmerous fop. Glimmerous? Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? More to the point, doesn't she mean glamorous? When he walks, his shiny ch um, <coughs> chains catch the sun and glimmer in my eyes. Distracting. Yeah, no, please don't do that. Uh, yeah. Speaking of distracting... I guess I just have to accept the fact that I lack talent. Yeah, so... Nobody will be eating near a crime scene. You're basically contaminating the scene. Sounds like she, uh, she's trying um, out some sort of new forensics technique. Detective Sky. Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright, correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details. Ah, ah. Well, he helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Wasn't she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand it when things are vague, especially in a case. I went to a study uh, to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you're a detective now. Well, I failed the test. But you know, rank and title don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. I've always thought that too. 
And my heart is full of science. That's why I, I bought the kit through mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the forensics team arrives. Are you sure that's okay? I won't lie, I'm not fond of the man. Those glimmerous types always rub me the wrong way. Glamorous, right? Prosecutor should be cool uh, of wit and furrowed of bro. Less glimmerous and more uh, simorous, you know? No, actually, I don't. Well, that and what happened seven years ago. Prosecutor Gavin was the one who stripped uh, Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. Was he? What? Really? He was the one. You mean you didn't know? I thought you were one of his boys. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Um, what exactly happened seven years ago? I never actually heard the details. Then investigate. It's better you learned it for yourself, actually. Do you mind me asking exactly what it is you're, you've been doing? Squatting down on the ground like that. Oh, you want to know? Do you? Well, I spl splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't a, po a police issue. What is it? I see a roller and glue. This is a footprint anal analysis kit. Footprint. It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Oh, does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right. The ground was muddy, so I had to protect it at... Was the night that night? Ever wanted to know exactly where someone was standing, like your panty snatching student uh, witness, for instance? Aha! Uh -huh. So with that kid, right? What? Want to try this stuff out? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, we're sort of on op opposing teams and all. Oh, saw uh, your uh, your friends. And to tell the truth, I'm not so good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. Oh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mash. Footprint analysis, huh? Well, do I give it a go? Try it. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. Right, allow me to explain. Um, ahem, one moment. She's reading the instructions for her kit. Why does this not fill, fill me with confidence? First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print, we want to analyze. I've taken the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. Well, which shoe print should we start with? If we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Shoe prints, prepare to be examined. Oh, this is so exciting. Right, here goes, first. Pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do that? Just press X where you want to pour the plaster. Like this. Hmm, that doesn't look too hard. If you run out of plaster in your beaker before you're done, you have to start over. Not bad, you're handier with that than you look. What's that supposed to mean? On to the next step. Um, dry the plaster until it turns white. Uh, right. Just press X to blast it with that dryer. There, give it a shot. Looks like it hardened nicely. Let's take a look. Hmm, yes. That's a good one. Next, the ink. Ready for the next step. Use the roller to ink... Uh, just the shoe pr uh, print part. Hold on uh, onto that roller right with the X and roll it up and down. Okay, keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. Okay. Right, now the moment you all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. The film, the thing is, you probably would be um, filming all of this, um, as it, at, forensic team would probably be filming all of this. But it looks like there's something stuck in his shoe. Match this with. Yep. It's the exact same.
The shoe prints belong to Walkie Kitaki after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the science at work. Don't you love it? Ah, uh, nothing feels better. He's definitely, uh, way more into this than I am. So let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here solving the case, with science. Well, that certainly brightened her mood. Footprint analysis. Let's do the other prints. Then I can sky. Mind if we give it an another go? Right on. Leave no print unanalyzed, I say. Now, uh, to pick which print you want to analyze. Oh, you messed up there. Looking good, okay. Next to dry the plaster, okay. This looks like a more fancier shoe. This is probably the, the what the, the doctor was wearing. I wonder if that could be from a heel, now that I look at it. Could that be from a heel? Is that a nail? No. No. What her footprints look like. Yeah, okay, this is Stickler's Footprints. So these prints belong to Wesley Stickler. Uh, confirms his testimony, the final version of it, at least. Now we know where the Panty Snatcher was standing. Okay, uh, let's look at the final shoe print. Mind if we give another shot? Okay. The wonder that is forensic science. Okay. This one here. What kind of shoe is that? That looks like a sandal. It's a sandal, that's what that is. It's a sandal, probably. It's so smooth, it's a sandal. It doesn't match a print that we have on our list. I wonder if it's Tiala's. Um mystery print. This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind, though. That's certain. It's a sandal. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Eldoon noodle stand. It does make me one wonder. Hey, you. Yes. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen uh, to have something in mind. Something that might, uh, someone, something that might have just left this mystery shoe print. Mystery Shooper does remind me of something. I think I have one culprit right, uh...
Hmm. Ah. Uh. Let's go to the other places here, because I think there's something I'm supposed to pick up, probably. here. I don't think I have anything that that I could use. I think it should be made into a playhouse for children. I think its owner would disagree. Uh. Parts that were here yesterday are gone. Only thing we're covering is the ground. Oh, you know, I think I see something there. A print. A print. It's that. Um... But what about the victim's footprints? The victim's footprints, we don't have that here? Hmm. No, oh, sorry, no idea. Too bad. I wonder what it is. Look at our evidence again. Uh...
Yeah, I was trying to say that it was the noodle stand guy, but... I can't show her the cart. I think I'm gonna need to- I- I- let's- I'm gonna go back to Mr. Aldoon. I think it- that might be Mr. Aldoon's footprints. If he's wearing sandals, if he's like a... Trying to think, what could it be? I'm convinced that that's a sandal. Oh, okay, Phoenix is back. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something, I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright, tell me, what happened seven years ago? Please. I want to know. I need to know. It, you certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. Seven years ago. Seven years ago, I was standing in the courtroom on behalf of a client. The case involved the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. It was all over the news, I remember that. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yes, he was only 17 years old at the time. What? A 17 years old prosecutor? He took the bar exam abroad in Europe. They're prog progressive over there, you know? I was defeated by a 17 year old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. That's all? How could that be all? What do you mean? What about the, uh, what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? They said you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging attorney himself? How, how, how does it feel? I, I, I don't want to believe it's true. What about uh, what happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial, there was a single slap of a piece of forged evidence? Yeah, so he forged that card because the killer would know it talk about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jump into my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence. Maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? But, but, but I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright, looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery for now. Let's go back to the park here. Uh, there's gotta be something there. possibly be. Take that! 
I don't know why I chose the gun, I just, um... I remember the gun was dusted off for Prince, so I was just wondering maybe that had something to do with it, but no. Um... It might be a piece of evidence that I don't have yet, that's what it might be. that someone was wiping, that someone was wiping. But the thing is, why is there only one print there? There's only one. Wait, so maybe, maybe it's not a shoe. Why is there only one? I don't think I have the piece of evidence yet. I don't think I have it. I think I have to find something. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have this piece of evidence. Because I would recognize it right away. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I just remembered. The park had slippers, didn't it? In the trash can. Right. This. How could I have forgotten that? How could I forget that? It was the trash can with the slippers in it. That! It's that! Slipper for a patient at the Maractus Clinic. It was that. How could I not see that? I forgot about that. It was, it was a piece of evidence that I missed. Okay, let's check that. Did I choose the right thing? I think I chose it. Uh, maybe I have to examine it. The bottom is covered with plant, uh, paint. Uh, what's this weird shape here? It looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom when the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left where the leaf was removed. Ah, I got the paint on my hand. Well, you you know what you've pretty much done at this point? You basically contaminated crime scene evidence by touching that. <laughs> That's pretty much what you've done. Uh, because um, in real life, when the police find evidence, there's you're, you're supposed to take a minimal of two pictures, and then you're supposed to basically make a put in the evidence bag, and there's supposed to be a chain of custody form. The chain of custody form in a police investigation basically shows every single cop that touched that piece of evidence. I saw you try to wipe your head off my cape. Practice clinic, yep. Oh, how could I be- how could I be so stupid? Oh my god, I figured it out. Um, uh, the re the reason there's only one footprint is because look at the ground, there's gravel there, it- there's- The- the- uh, the person was standing one foot on the- on the- on the soil, and the other- the other foot was on the gravel, that's why there was no footprint. That's why there's only one. Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. 
Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? But I, uh, look at the bottom, see? It's covered with paint, except for... See, right here. Hey, that spot is shaped like a leaf. What if a leaf was stuck on the bottom and came off when the slipper stepped in paint? Makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic. Exactly, the victim's clinic. Wait, that means... That someone from the clinic was involved. Why is she just standing there eating? Um, Detective Sky, I have a favor to ask. W w what? She might be able to help us get into the Maractus Clinic now. Can you get us access into the Maractus Clinic? Yup. Just like I thought. The police won't let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. As off limits until we prove they are. I should be able to do something for you, yes. Hey, really? Well, you did my, uh, work for me here with the shoe prints. <laughs> Seems like I should return the favor. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Allow, uh, Detective Sky's orders. Allow clinic access to the magician and attorney in Prosecutor Gavin's case. The magician and the attorney. <laughs> right, rack this clinic. Here comes justice. Hi. Put a little heart by her name. How cute. Isn't she a little old for cute? Apollo, shame on you. Cute is eternal. Cute is timeless. No matter how old a woman uh, gets, she always carries a little innocent ma maiden inside her. R really now, I suppose I've never heard of it uh, put quite that way before. When I sign my name, I always put in a little diamond. Brucey Wright. See? Cute, don't you think? It's a little confusing. Won't people think your middle name is Diamond? Hey, you could write your name like Apollo equals justice. I do like justice. But that's what's, uh, that's taking it a bit far. Okay. Okay, let's go to the, um, the Maractus Clinic now. Now the cop can't constantly kick us out. Ah, you two again. When, oh, when will you learn? Look at me however you want. You're not getting in today. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Look what we have. What's this? Detective Sky? Yesterday, it was Prosecutor Gavin. Today, it's Detective Sky. Who are you two, really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. This is the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, kind of a, an at-home sort of place, isn't it? The slippers right there, look at that, on the wall. The place is a connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it. Police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being uh, where the victim lived, looks like the police team's uh, gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. There's a pair of slippers missing. These must be the slippers for patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. And ours, um, have paint on the bottom. Which means they were taken out of here on the night of the murder. Right. The paint's from, uh, the hit and run, after all. But what were a, pa a pair of, of clinic slippers doing in that trash can? And what were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Oh no, did, did Miss, was Mr. Eldoon there? Or maybe it's a visitor that came to see Dr. Maractus. You'd think they'd use his uh, house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case. And if this patient or visitor isn't uh, still here, why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these, just in case. Uh, cute women. Oh, they're women's sandals. Okay. Hey, Apollo, you think this is... Huh? This could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print off of this. Let's try it out. Ah, 
I'm starting to think that Tiala might be connected in this. Is she trying to set up her fiancé? Well, why would she do that? The mother was suspecting that there was something off about her. Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe, maybe. But wait, I mean, it's great that we got the print. Uh, but is there such a thing as a list of toe prints? Not really. There really isn't. Um, you could, I guess, get a warrant to get somebody's toe print. That I guess that could be a possibility, but... Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means we can't match this print. It seems like a good time to ask the detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. And these. These look like the noodle bowls. Look at all these bowls. They're from Eldoon's Noodles. There's Mr. Salty. Are these cops idiots? How does... How do... These cops think that this has nothing to do with the, the murder? These cops are stupid and incompetent. Incompetent. How did they secure this crime scene? I think we have... Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. Not exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Trucy. But why are all the, these bowls here and why are they washed clean too? That's... The clinic reception desk. No one's here, of course. There's a small sign on the counter. Please pay your bill. Remember, we're the ones holding the scalpel. Uh, brutal but effective. Hey. Okay. Uh. Look, this door says Dr. Ott's office. Think this is the victim's private office? Not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Like those little bike locks. Don't ever bother put, uh, putting them on when I'm around. That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Ah, Apollo! That sound! It came from behind this door. Someone's in there? What? L let's check it out, Trucy. A break-in! They left through that window. What? Wait, Apollo! You're too late to catch them now. That must be uh, her experience as a panty snatcher... Uh, Chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. Y y you're right. She's better at this than I am. But one thing for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. Yeah, so here's the thing is... You you wouldn't... um uh, if, if, if such a situation even happened, you would call the police. You do not examine the scene yourself. Because then afterwards, what's going to happen is... um. Uh, they're gonna argue that at trial that the scene has been contaminated. Uh, books and papers are scattered around the room. Wow, what a mess. This is worse than Daddy's room. The burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is lying on his side. Ah, the juice that spilled out of that cup, is it's dry. So that messy one wasn't our burglar just now. Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it. This potted plant has seen better days. Hmm. That doesn't make sense either. What doesn't? Normally, burglars are looking for valuables, right? That's true. That's what I would do if I were a burglar. So, why look under a potted plant? Maybe they were looking for the key to the safe. I've heard of people putting uh, their, uh, their house keys under plants, but the key to the safe. Then maybe the burglar was looking for the house keys. This is getting nowhere fast. What are these? Whoa, what are those? The wall is covered with beakers. Eek, something's moving inside that one. You look, Apollo. Hey, look yourself, you can't... Oh, it's a goldfish. Wow, they're all fish. So many kinds. Whoever designed this had a sixth sense of humor. The safe. What a cute little safe. Looks like a four-digit lock. Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. Seven, nine. Wait, you think that burglar just was trying to open it? Yep. I wonder what's inside this safe. Hmm, is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record. Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. It's probably Maractus's birthday. That's probably what it is. Uh... 46... Um, Thank you. 
it would be what? Possibly be here. I don't think I have it, I think I'm missing a piece of evidence. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm missing a piece of evidence. I have an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bulb's broken. Broken. Don't you mean bur burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. Why is it standing up on the floor like that, then? Hey, look at the cord. Huh? There's a red splooch on... splotch on part of the cord. You think that's blood? It's a little bright for blood. Almost pinkish. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for sure. The window is ajar. It must be how our burglar escaped. I wonder who it was. Maybe it was just a burglar who happened to pick out pick here. I'm starting to think that it's Walkie's fiance. But there's a patrol car sitting out front. If I were a burglar, I'd come back the next day at least. I'd give it a month myself. Whoever broke in obviously needed to break in today. runs to the lamp has a red stain on it. Is that lipstick? I don't wonder what left the stain. Wait, I know, maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like they were trying to write their name and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on magic ropes. The bulb is broken. It won't turn on. Oh, how is it broken? Don't touch that. You'll cut yourself. Eek! Yeah, yeah, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. But my finger. Ah, you're bleeding, let me see that. Wait. Magic blood, hee <laughs> hee, gotcha. Please don't do that again. I have enough to worry about without my co-workers injuring themselves on the evidence.
Yeah, it's not the lamp. I was figuring that there might be a hint on the lamp. Um, let's go back to the, um... Let's go back to Detective Sky. For now. Oh, Dune's gone. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Hey, how did you know? You can't fool someone trained the ways of science. Next, she'll uh, have us analyzing face prints. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. These sandals. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is, what? All you need is a sample of the, the same toe print, of another shoe, for instance. Oh, right. So if the prints match, you'd know the same person wore both. Hmm. Do I have another shoe uh, worn by the same person? Why? Um. Really? Um. Something here. Uh, Detective Sky, can you compare this with the... I did say toe print sample, didn't I? Where exactly is a toe print on this evidence? Oops. Stormy skies ahead. Try again scientifically this time if you would. Mm, toe print. Right. I wonder, could the red stain be... Hey, could you take a look at this lamp? Hmm. The bulb's broken. Right, strange, isn't it? Really? I break bulbs all the time. My desk is a mess and my lamp's always falling over. Not too bright, huh? Ouch. I still think it's kind of odd. Well, I have something else I could compare it to. Another shoe. Um... You know what? Hang on a second. Let me go to the detention center. Well, the time of the decision is upon us. Which one of our two jailbirds do we want to talk to? Excuse me. Both detainees are currently in questioning to corroborate their accounts. Mr. Stickler and Waki, both of them? I pity the question there. I guess we'll be back then. Yeah, they're both dealing with idiots. Um... Oh, it's probably wine. That's probably what the red stuff was on the on the lamp. That's probably wine.
Oh, how did I miss this? Yes, why would there be a finger? Oh, you mean a toe print. Good call, Apollo. Yeah, so I guess I missed that when I was examining it earlier. Yeah, this is this is what I missed here. Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe, maybe. Wow, I feel like the case is just is solved already. What was next? We have to match the print, right? Right, let's match it. Wait. Detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Apollo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her, get some expert advice. I guess so. I'm not sure she really qualifies as an expert. Okay, let's go back to Detective Sky then. That's the trick. Skip this. Okay, uh, who? Uh, this. We, we, we had to present, right? Oh, what am I doing? Gotta present here. Uh, present. Bad. Yep, we we read all all this. So I'm just gonna skip through this. This pair of slippers, the toe print and all. Oh, the print on these is nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course. Hang on. Bingo, gosh, I'm good. Hey, we were the ones who found the prints. A perfect match. The same person who uh, wore these sandals and slippers. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say, not yet. Well, that's one big step closer to the truth. It's Tiala's. I'm pretty sure it's Tiala's. The only way we can figure that out without talking to Tiala is talking to Waki. Is Waki available to talk? What? What am I supposed to do now? The killer didn't get into the safe, we know that.
Seven nine. We know the first two are seven nine. Nothing, nothing that I have that, that is going to match this. Hmm. There's something that I missed in this room. I'm gonna get the answer in a little bit, guys. I'm sorry if it's just taking me so long. It's gotta think. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what I have to do because this is like the hardest parts of the game is like trying to figure out what you gotta do in like situations like this. Well, if the prints on these slippers and these sandals match, which they do, it means that the same person was wearing them. You know, I thought that's what it meant. Might mean. Science is amazing. It is, isn't it? Never felt so alive. I don't know about science, but this is a major leap. What does she say about the lamp? Say, could you take a look at this lamp? Hmm. That bulb's broken. Right, strange, isn't it? Really, I break bulbs all the time. My desk is a mess, and my lamp is always falling over. Not too bright, huh? Ouch. I still think it's kind of odd. The killer knew the first two digits, but they weren't able to put in the other two digits because we moved in on them. Yes, I fi it's gonna be the fingerprint stuff. Fingerprint powder, let's see. When you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? It would leave a print. When you open a safe, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, right? So if we can find the buttons with fingerprints, we have the safe code. Not bad, Apollo. Wonder what's in here that the killer wanted to get in so badly. Seven, eight, and the other five are two and five. You can see the oily uh, finger residues clearly. Okay. 
These are glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open the safe. Let's give it a shot. It opened. This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with it. An x-ray, hmm. Can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either, it's all in medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient it says walkie kataki So this is walkie, our client's chart, huh? Why would this one chart be here in the safe? Let's see, the physician's signature says Almaractus. A? What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filed the chart. Let's see. Nurse Alita T Tiala. I knew it! I knew that she was a nurse. That's how they met. Alita Tiala is Waki's fiance. That's one Ida too many, Apollo. Never mind that. What's her name doing here? How should I know? Though, I guess it means she's on the staff of this clinic? Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So, Alita Tiala worked at the Maractus Clinic, and she had access to Waki Kataki's medical chart. You got the I and Y wrong, Apollo. I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher this? Detective Sky. Detective Sky or Eldun, possibly. What is this? This looks like a bullet hole. Is that? You can still see the bullet sticking out of it. Wait! The gun was fired twice! So the gun was here too? Why is there a bullet hole inside the safe? But it, that doesn't make any sense. Is there a hole in the... Um, no, there's no hole in the safe. Hey, this bullet came out. The tip is all squashed. Squished. Not surprising given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Wow, it's all mushed. That was one tough safe. You know, it looks kind of yummy. Huh? Like ice cream. Mm -hmm. Caramel. You certainly have an active imagination, Trucy. Walkie's chart. ID. Palmaractus. Nurse Alita. Um, Tiala. Bullet lodged near heart. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Ah, Trucy, wait. What? That's a vital evidence there, you can't show her that. That's our secret weapon in tomorrow's trial for sure. Oh, clever, Apollo. What did I tell you before? If you're going to talk behind someone's back, do it quietly. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Ah, Trucy, wait. Well, it was inside the safe, that means the police don't know about it yet. All right, we can use this in the trial tomorrow. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, do it so quietly. Let's talk to, um... Maybe we can go to the detention center, let's see.
Don't cry, Angel. Daddy's back, and Daddy's... Oh, you again. You always have to announce your entrances like that? Man, my old man, he, man. Now all uh, in a funk, and it's his fault. One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson, and failed, clearly. You two got your work cut out for you, straight up. Of course, I don't care if they lock me up. I'm ready to go. Some days I wonder why I do what I do. Hey man, you won't see me bugging about uh, one or two guilty charges, but what if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me, short, uh, shorty? Like a badge of honor. They don't uh, give the death penalty, do they? You didn't really do it, did you? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. If I've learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than words. Man, my old man is whack, disappointing, that's what he is. I heard he wants to leave the mob. Over my dead body, I spent my life uh, trying to keep it real, being an OG, and never stepping down. Now my old man wants to go soft? Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. <sighs> the day I get at it, this clink. That's the day uh, uh, Alita and I start the next generation of the Kataki family. Please don't talk as though it's assumed you're going to jail for my sake. Okay, I'm trying to present him with a few things. First of all, the shoes. Waki, you don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure I do. I was the one who bought them for her. Or Miss Tiala? Yeah, a birthday present. She's got mad little feet. Mad so cute, man. So these sandals are hers. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. What's up with the funky vibes? Ugh. Man, that is so far off the hook, it's off the chain, G. Okay, um... Wonder how my Alita's doing. Man, I miss her. Okay, this. Oh, huh, what's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Walkie. It's yours. Hey, look, I don't smoke or nothing. I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. Uh, take a closer look here in particular. Where it says nurse. It's signed Alita Tiala. Huh? You lawyers do your homework. So you met Miss Tiala when you... Yeah, I met her at the clinic. So? Could you tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting? Fine, fine. I'll tell you how we met if you want to know that bad. Okay, I tried to ask him about the bullet, but it didn't, um... About half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war for another family. I was ready to die, sure. But they came in and got me. Hauled me off to the docks. The Maractus Clinic. That's where I met her, my fallen angel. You mean Alitia Tiala. She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say. The bad guy always gets the ladies. Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style. Guess what she said. What did she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet, um, like on the down low. Know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you'll marry me. So, that was the proposal. You know it. An oath of love right there in the hospital room. I think there's more to it than that. There's a reason she wanted to marry him. Just like that, the OP was done, and we were out of there. See you later, bye. Um, about that OP. Yeah? Didn't you, uh, didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report. I know it's still in me. This health checkup was the boss's idea, you said. Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G? You know what I'm saying? But then you learn about the bullet at the checkup? Yeah. That's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I couldn't get that cap pulled out after I got my revenge. Cap is a street slang term for bullet. And hey, I'm still living large now, aren't I? Incidentally, had you ever had a health checkup before? Nah, my old man suddenly gets this idea that we all gotta get checkups. Guess he's getting old. Older, I mean. Mr. Aldoon, we've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Trucy doll? Apollo, show him what we found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he is a doctor still.
Sniffle. Mr. Aldoon, is everything okay? I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. Mr. Aldoon. Okay, we, we present him with this. I wonder what he says about the medical report. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Aldoon, could you take a look at this? Hmm, a medical chart. Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Why does sudden silence, Mr. Aldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know. That chart belongs to my client. He's on trial on the suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy. You can't put him on trial. He's ABD. What? ABD. All but dead. He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. What? Uh, can you tell us why? What's wrong with the re medical report? Well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way. It's like he's a completely different person. What is he gonna say about the report? Walkie's chart, what is it? Well, according to this chart, this walkie kataki feller's not doing so well. He's got a bullet right upside his heart. That's right. Yeah, but this chart talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see the bullet stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the, oper uh, the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is was too tricky to operate on. Like I said earlier, that it's, it's sometimes if a bullet is in a really dangerous part of the body where it's going to do a lot of damage, it, if they, once they repair, you know, the bullet wounds, they might not remove the bullet. What? That bullet's smug as a bug. There's next to the aorta, which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal's just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimeters to either side, and there'll be some serious bleeding on going on in there. Not something your average uh, doc be eager to fiddle with. Y you mean... It took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. It take more than a miracle to take it out. It take a magician. Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. I'd give him another half a year tops. But Walkie's operation was already half a year ago. That's why I'm saying you're out of time. That kid shouldn't be on trial. He should be on an operating table. Great. Just great. So he's dying. So he needs to have that operation or he's gonna die. So... The doctor, the doctor knew that he was dying, but didn't want to tell him. Maybe that's what it was about. That's why he hid the, he hid the report. Maractus's dilemma. How could Dr. Maractus do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? I got a pretty good idea of how he felt. An emergency operation. He's got the kid's chest open on the table. Then he finds the bullet. That's despair right there. Trucy doll, cold despair. Despair? About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in a situation to go admitting he couldn't take it out. The Katakis, you bet. The kid's their only son, I hear. So he skips the operation and walkies back on the street living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. How awful. And which doctor would they take him to, Maractus? He's got enough ties to them. He could probably uh, cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible. He left Walkie to die. There's a darkness in this world, Trucy doll, waiting hungry. Compared to it, these gangs turf wars are like kid games. When you're up against real evil, well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong, it'll take you all the same. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Eldoon? You could operate on Walkie, couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So, so Waki, he's real lucky to be alive even now. No, there's one problem. Apollo, this chart, look at the nurse section. Alita Tiala, that's right. This operation was how they met. So she knows that he's dying and she agreed to marry him. Oh my God, it makes sense now. She wants the family fortune, that's what she wants. Because when he dies, he's gonna inherit all of it. 
That's why she wanted to marry him. She doesn't love him, she just wants to take the money. That's what it's ultimately about. And she probably killed the doctor because she was scared the doctor was going to reveal the truth. That's probably what happened. Yeah, the problem is she knew. She knew about Waki's condition, guaranteed. So, Yala's guilty. She's the one who did it all. Ah. Why didn't she ever tell him? It doesn't make sense. If she knew her patient was in serious danger, you'd think she'd want to get that second operation before getting engaged. What was she thinking? No, she is thinking. She wants the, the family fortune. That's what she wants. Because literally, they said the old man is dying too. His father is dying. And his mother is getting old. He's their only son. When he, when he marries her and he dies, she's going to get everything. What were you thinking, Alita Tiala? I knew there was something off about her. Remember remember what the mom said? The mom is a Yakuza... She's, she's a Yakuza boss's wife. And now here's the thing that, that, that a lot of people don't know. Is mobster's wife, gangster's wives... They might not be directly involved in the business. They're very well aware of what their husbands are doing. But gangster's wives are pretty good at reading people. And gangster's wives are often pretty ruthless people as well. They, they are. And so that Yakuza mom, she could read her. She felt that there was something off about her. And then she said, never mind. Uh, remember that. She said that there was something off about Tiala. That's what it was. Is, my God, what a horrible woman. Uh, she's evil. She's, ma she's been manipulating playing this innocent person that just cares about Waki the entire time. Is, she did it. Uh, the only question, the only question I have is, how did she get the gun? How did she? Exactly. And why was there a bullet in the safe, too? She was trying to get that report, but... But, now that I think about it, I think I know the answer. She shot the doctor there in the park. Maybe Waki saw it, and he doesn't want to admit to it that he saw her do it. Maybe he knows that she shot him, but he doesn't want to admit to it because he's convinced himself that he's in love with her, but she's not really in love with him. That's what it is. Wow. So he's, he's, he's a ya Yakuza boss's son. And yet she's more evil than him. Wow, that's 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 a massive twist that she's more evil than him, than a Yakuba, Yakuza boss's son. But I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. We'll see this, and we're gonna take Tiala down on the next part in the trial because I feel like she's probably gonna be testifying at that trial. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, do drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.